All right, time for my round three game of this month's Rev GP. And I'm playing four color constants against my opponent who is on uh, Esper Enchantress. So yeah, that's going to be a fun game to play, I guess. I'm being sarcastic here. I don't know if you can tell because my voice is in, because I have a cold, so my voice isn't all that great right now. Uh, anyways, so I'm on the play and this has, yeah, this hand's pretty decent. I'll keep this. Uh, so I'm going turn one, Shell Cove, turn two, we develop cityscape. Or actually no, turn one, we develop so I can start like fixing for next turn, for turn three, so I can get stuff on curve on turn three, I guess. Yeah, then I guess Shell Cove just gets exiled or something. Or actually I can exile the redeveloped cityscape. It's like stuff with fetching decisions. Anyways, I play land and pass. I think I'll exile redevelop because I don't think I need another redeveloped. So it's, so it's pipe pulling a planes and a swamp. Do I need a swamp right now? I mean, I do need a second planes because I want to cast this. Yeah, maybe I just pull out two planes. Uh, and they have this thing. Okay, sure. So then, uh, I have to, yeah, I'll exile the other one. Grab planes and planes. Does that screw me in the future? I, I have my blue source from Shell Cove, but I think just, just to be safe, I'll also grab an island. Tell what to fit. Anyways, uh, it didn't get manifest, but that's fine. So I am, well, I I have my double, uh, white now at least. Unfortunately, can't play banish next turn, even if I want to, because colors don't work out. So I'm assuming next turn, like hopefully I'll be able to swing with this guy. Um, they pass the turn, and keep stuff up. They're probably holding a removal spell. Not sure what instant speed removal they have though. Oh, they have a bunch of flash enchantment. Yeah, well, I always attack first and see what removal they play. Okay, that's, yeah, that's expected. And I'll just play Forgotten Cultivator and see what I flip. Oh, I guess that makes the decision easy for me. So I actually don't have a good play next turn. If uh, I can play Archon, no, I can't play Archon Flip because the colors don't work out. Yeah, I literally just don't have a play next turn. Uh, Or no, I can play Banish, but then that's bad because then Shell Cove, I don't get to play out Shell Cove tapped. I kind of need to top deck something to get me some more steam. Although I'm actually not sure what exactly I can top deck here. That would be good for me. Maybe another Forgotten Cultivator. So yeah, like just some other 3-drop. Except all my 3-drops are double pips, so I can't actually cast any of them with this mana. They're just like, oh, they're stuck on lands. So that's good for me. And Manifest, that's actually quite useful. Yeah, so that means that uh, I can Manifest onto the forest and then play Shell Cove tapped. That seems pretty decent. And I even get to attack with this thing. Uh, so actually, I, I, yeah, I can cast Banish to the Isle, and that animates for Gods and Cultivator. Do I, do I want to do that? It gets me something for next turn, but it also uses up a Banish. Is there anything I want to Banish next turn? They'll suck on two lands, so like, they don't have anything super threatening. You can like, drop in the far next turn, in which case, like, that's point one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll have six mana next turn because Cultivator plus me something useful, probably. I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. I guess I'll just like get one of the demographers out of here. And, and with this guy, and do I need a land for next turn? One, two, three, four. I can just cast Archon normally. I think I can just grab Star Studded. I don't need that many lands right now. Then, yeah. And I also need to represent this thing as a creature. So, like, that thing, this thing can't get killed. Blows up Manifest, which actually means that I, uh, I'm mass screwed again. Okay, well, yeah, if they can indulge, which they don't, like they just forgot to activate the mark, well, it, it's fine. So now that means I untap with Forest, or the Manifested Forest, and I get to play Archon onto Demographer, I guess. But yeah, I don't get to go to 6. But that means I animate Cultivator again, and I get to have another go at stuff, so that's pretty good. Let's do this and see if they have anything they want to do at 1 mana. And let's see if this goes through. Okay, they're just going to do it themselves. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so go to combat. Being with this thing. And, okay, another banish. To, I think, yeah, I'll grab another banish for future uses. In case they, like, drop anything scary. Play this tapped. And, okay, yeah, they, they have the tap script. I'm not used to the tap script being active because everything in MSCM ha has a broken tap script right now. I think it's, like, due to the new wording. Then they pass again. Okay. I think I'm doing pretty well right now. Because they have done literally nothing for the last four, however many turns. Four, five, six. Yeah, I can play uh 
Planeswalker. Uh, actually, no, they have Omen of Deception. I probably should play around that. So how do I do? How do I play around that? Probably just manifest twice and get Forgotten Cultivator online. Uh, that's probably pretty good. They have board wipes, right? They do, but they're like really far away from doing that. They have Chronicle Extinction, which doesn't actually hit Archon. I can actually I can do starts at flip plus and manifest, and like that gets me like that gets me the Forgotten Cultivator activation that I need for stuff. That's probably worth it. Then I just go star at manifest. I need to manifest first because that's how the colors work out. And I want to put the manifest onto the planes, I think, and the star set onto oh, something something colors. Uh, I'll just manifest twice, actually. Probably easy for, easier for me to think through if I do that. Um, so I actually want to put the manifest onto Shell Cove, right? No, I don't. There's, I want to put the manifest onto... Well, yeah, I, I think I actually do want to put it onto the, the Shell Cove. So I'll do that right now. It actually doesn't really matter which one I do it onto because I'm playing both manifests anyways this turn. So like, uh, I have to play one more manifest, which I guess I'll do by tapping like this. And bring it here, I guess. Tap in. So that gets me my spell charge up. I can attack first this turn too. That. Okay, so now I swing with everything. And that John Cultivator gets me a trigger, so that right now. And I'll... Do I need more lands? I guess I'll grab... I could grab a land for next turn, or this turn even. Yeah, I'll grab a land in case I get board wiped or whatever. Then pass the turn. No, these guys aren't tapped right now, so like, I think I could have cast another 4 drop this turn. Did I forget to play a land? I, I, or I, I won, because they got stuck on lands. I didn't. Uh, so post board, Catman goes boom. And I'll cut the things I normally cut, which is these guys and then someone like my... I buy a bunch of three drops. Actually, what other thing am I supposed to cut? I think I I, I want to cut Vasilia's. Uh, I think I cut from creatures, so maybe the hoarding Kalubri. No, they have removal, right? Like hoarding Kalubri isn't actually that bad to have around. Must be winning big games and whatever. I think like this probably could work out. I'll try it. Um, hmm. Literally just manifest and grand consonants. I don't know if this can work out, but it'd be really nice if it does. Uh, well, I mean, they're a slow deck. I think we can, like, yeah, try to make this work. Probably a huge mistake, but when have I not huge mistakes? Uh, so yeah, now that I don't need to always be, be the player playing on turn 1, I think I can afford to play Shell Cove tapped here. So, like, I have two Grand Consensus right now, so, like, if the game goes long, I'm in a pretty good situation. Oh boy, uh, okay, well, Manifest, and I'm assuming this resolves, and I'm assuming it dies right away, because... I don't see how it's not dying right away. Then redeveloped, we'll just grab you some basics and whatever. Okay, so this, they're just using three, me three mana to blow up my uh, mana dork. That's fine. Archon, okay, well, if they had any creatures, this would be good. Fortunately, they don't, so I just play redeveloped and pass. And yes, I can exile island, because this thing's also making blue, and I don't need that much blue. Aura, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, can't exile it right now. Uh, anyways, so... I fetch with this thing, yeah, I'll, I'll exile the island and see what I can grab. Probably want, like, planes and a swamp, because those are the colors I'm still missing. Planes comes into play tapped. You know, uh, swamp goes to my hand. Okay, uh, plane. Oh, I need all three to, for, to be untapped. Oh, I guess I can either play this tapped or I can play this and then grab island next turn. I think I'll just play this tapped and leave the possibility for Archon next turn. So they have counter spells too, so which is which why I like I can't just wait forever because then they can start countering my grand consonances and like post board they have more counter spells and with the far end play uh, they can start going up on valley from playing their enchantments. Okay, they just pass uh, probably holding some omens. At, okay, that's a lot of grand consonances. If I ever get to enough mana, then at least that means I I'll have the game on lock. Um. Yeah, I'll just jam Archon to, to like to start drawing out some counter spells. And next turn I'll like the escape and grab Island or something so that oh okay, they that resolve. I guess they're just going to remove it with No, they they're just passing. Okay, interesting. They're going to okay, yeah, that makes sense. Photographer. Okay, yeah, if I Archon one turn later then it would have been a bit better because we have the ETB would have had a target. That's fine. Um Manifest. Okay, that's that could be useful. Four, five. Well, I already have double colors, double colors for all my pips. So I think I'll redevelop and exile this thing. End of turn. 
Then I, you know, I guess I play Manifest, but let's see if this resolves. It, they let it happen, okay, good. And Jafar is not active yet, so one, two, three, five. It could become active at instant speed. Do I care if it, they do that? Yeah, I don't care enough, let's just go at their face. If they let it happen, okay. Are they just holding onto a handful of lands or something? Because that's the only way this play would make sense. Or like the this, the way that they've been playing for the last however many turns. Because they, they're just not doing anything, even though they definitely should be able to, unless their hand's horrible. Anyways, so what are my remaining colors? I could grab some more forests if I want. I think, do I need more forests? I guess I'll grab one more just for safety. And I guess I'll grab like a island because that's my last island or whatever. But like, I have grand concerts available going into next turn. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have grand constants available even after attacking. I'll attack first to draw out counter spells then. Or draw out like instant speed stuff. Hope they let it happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, actually I should have played redeveloped cityscape. Well whatever, it doesn't matter now. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Yeah, I have to tap here to well, to like pay for this, but the worst case scenario is that they be clear score me, but I don't think they brought in be clear score against a deck that has literally just uh they let resolve, which is, I guess I have a board wipe lined up or something. This is great because it means that grabs me a land, so my next constants can be cast next turn, even if my lands get blown up. And let's see, what do I get? Encampman, Planeswalker, and Creature. Okay, yeah, that's that's perfect. Extremely good for me. So let's see how they handle this because, uh, get all the triggers on the stack. So this is blowing this thing up, and this is getting rid of this thing. I also get counters because I didn't play Creature last turn. This is going up to four counters, and okay, they let it happen, which is <clears throat> uh, interesting because, uh, yeah, are, are they, like, do they just have really nothing in hand? Because that's nothing else would make sense otherwise. So anyways, they might have a board wipe, in which case, best play right now would be to, yeah, minus this guy. But, like, because if I don't get board wiped, then I pretty much win already, so I don't need to, uh, well, I should just try to play around board, board wipes as much as I can. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, like, you got stuff. Oh, yeah, they got my both my club promoters, so they can blow up. Yes, they can blow up Manifest and also banish. Mm -hmm. But, like, they, I, I get to Crown Sense again next turn, so I don't know if it matters. Uh, what's their board wipe of choice, anyways? Rift does. It only kills creatures. Okay, never mind. It doesn't actually blow up my bad line. Also, I don't think it even kills everything, right? Yeah, okay, I. Uh, they also have Chronicle Extinction, which, uh, also doesn't... Oh, actually, no, Chronicle will be bad here because it blows up my Planeswalker. Once they Chronicles me, I'm sacking Manifest. I don't need this thing around. I don't need the mana no anymore, so I prefer the three. No, oh, for that one's, like, they run eight counter spells main. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't hit any of them yet. And now my opponent plays... Oh, they're paying for stuff. Um. Okay, there's Chronicle. Uh, they're going to do the board wipe mode, so they're going to leave my Planeswalker around for some reason. Those, I mean, like, this is 1-1 one, one now, so it does technically die to stuff. And they're going to club promoter to, I guess, uh, blow up Vanish. How these games usually go, like, if you have Vanish, it's going to get blown up eventually. But on the bright side, they that's their entire turn, so it could have been a lot worse. Uh, Archon comes active again, uh, unfortunately can't do anything on upkeep, back useful, uh, and that's another land, which I don't actually mind that much because they're tapped out and I have a Grand Constance lined up. I don't have any more of these guys, so uh, I don't have to do anything with this board con or casting Constance. And one, two, four, five, seven, guess what, it's Grand Constance number two. Ayo, yeah, I agree. Uh, so, do I have? Catman, Planeswalker, Artifact, Creature, Land. Okay, yeah, one, two, five. That's a really good Grand Consonance. Um, these guys... Yeah, I mean, that that is a really good Grand Consonance. I, I can't lie. They lost connection to the game because I'm assuming... Okay, I need to get these triggers resolved first. So, one, two, three. Go around the Visionary, and I guess I get to grab a Math Fest. This guy, one, two, three. Okay, I'll, I'll grab a Marilai. Uh, so, I still can't uh, deal with Ifara right now. Can't get a club promoter? Uh, not yet. And 
I still have the land play remaining. I'll play redevelop cityscape so I can get every single basic out of my deck. I still have two more forests. And do I want to manifest? Am I playing around stuff right now? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll plus my ally to make it survive stuff. I'll like minus Shimp uh, Shimpa to get back Club Promoter. Or, uh, do I get back Club Promoter or Banish? I think Banish is probably better. I'll do it post combat though. Uh, first of all, I should plus this guy to get two counters onto Archon. Get some damage at through to face. <clears throat> um, and then uh, zero this guy to get back. Uh, I, I always I always want to get back Banish here, right? Instead of Club Promoter. Club Promoter. Yeah, I'll get back Banish here. Probably is better. Then end the turn by getting back Manifest, which I'll put onto like the Lush this because I want it to be active right away. And I also have a Grand Constant as the next turn in case this one doesn't do it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Heal away. Okay, that gets rid of the Archon. Plus it's my card. Maybe I shouldn't have put all my eggs in one basket because now if they Chronicle extinction me, I actually, they actually do wipe my board. Chronicle, no, they have one more Chronicle left. How close are they to casting it? I'm still two mana away. I'm pretty safe. Okay, their own banish. Yeah, that makes sense. How many banishes do I have left? Still some number of them left. I think like my next banish can probably just to like just mark that this thing is floating off in Aether somewhere. Grab this. Ex exile this. Grab my last final two basics on my deck. They are holding up a counter spell, but it's not a hard counter, so I'm fine with that. And oh, okay, I just top deck banish to the aisle. Oh, cheapest shell cove right now. Like one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Cost four to activate. If I play Marilai first, then it gets reduced to two to activate. Then that manifest makes it one or zero to activate. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like try to attack with shell cove this turn. That means uh, I'm probably going to banish. I'll banish the banish to get my planeswalker back. Actually, no, I'll banish to see always get Archon back, right? I think my planeswalker is probably stronger, so I'll banish the banish to get that guy back. Then. In the turn, I also get a banish to get rid of the Farah, so then that means I'm going with uh, probably Miralai, transform, um, like transform Brasilia, Miralai, Light Bane, Spanish. Can I do all that? Uh, so what? Uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm not counting, so let's start with this. Manifest onto the Swamp. Then uh, Manifest can't actually pay for any of these double pipped guys, so I just have to like do them in quick succession. Uh, so 2, 3. Own banish. I actually don't want to plus Marilai because that they have a counter spell. Sure, I'll pay for that. That gets rid of this guy. Then this guy comes back. Forgotten Calvary also becomes active, but I actually am slightly worried about mailing myself out, so I won't attack with this turn. I can play Marilai, but I don't want to plus because I actually like my last card in hand. Play Marilai. Oh, I guess. Play Marilai. Stuff happens. I'll just keep it on three. Like, I don't really don't want. I really don't want want to. Actually, no, I can discard. Yeah, I'll just like plus one. I draw a treasure or whatever. I'll discard a land then. So then forgot. So then this guy's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, well, anyways, it's like one to activate. So that's for simple checking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. And now I transform Basilia to the. 7-7. Seven, seven. If they have a board wipe, then they got some really good value out of it, but if they don't, then they're kind of dead. And, uh, lots of stuff going on. Strong Cultivator also becomes active, then that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. They also, they still have a 3-3, three, three, so I can't actually attack with most of my guys, get value out of that, so I'll just swing with these guys, get my UI draw, I'll grab another Vasilia for in case I need more stuff in the future. They can block Cultivator right now if they want. Decide to just chump the big turtle. So I build my, and and then this guy the grab up from order and turn. End the turn. Banish comes back and this will get rid of the Fara. Actually they can just club promoter my my banish later on. Well whatever. There's like way too much stuff happening. I already stopped keeping track. And now they're like casting their own. Uh yeah, they have their that thing too. So I don't get to attack this turn. I oh. They're trying to wrath my board. All right, next turn, I guess I'm just going to drop some planeswalkers. Is it all permanents? Only creatures. Pretty safe. So, SL, uh, draw, card, blade. I'll just play Vasilia, Vasilia and plus, I guess. Uh, club, uh, club promoter lined up to pull up the banish that keeping the far end check. I actually don't have anything super great in my graveyard either to make use of all this extra stuff. Okay, you know, let's steal anything. 
If I get Mirror Light all the way up, I guess it does something. I'll, I'll plus Mirror Light. And I'll discard. Or I'll, 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 like, I'll just keep stuff around to rebuild after I, my board gets wiped. Then, what do I, uh, what do, I do with this guy? I get back. Gun Cultivator. Let's get back, like, one of the manifests. Yeah, probably like that. And then, do anything else. I play Vasilia. Vasilia, so that I have stuff lined up for next turn. And I'll, like, put this guy on manifest. I enter, get club promoter back, loads up like moment of deception or something. This guy even gets a counter because I forgot what I did last turn. I think I haven't, yeah, I haven't cast any creatures last turn. I gets two counters. Once is thinking, well, actually, I should, uh, I just realized I should be, be discarding non lands because it's a, it's this thing closer to all faster. Oh, okay, just hard removal. Sure, and that blows up Vasilia. Doesn't blow up the planeswalker that's getting Vasilia back though. It doesn't it actually exile it. Right, it gets blown up. You get uh, the night thing. Isn't that great on defense? Everything goes away. Fine, and then everything else gets blown up. So, so actually, they have they have a forest judgment up the, if they want to use it. Could be a problem. I want to be Okay, what do I even have left in my deck? I have one. I think I still have some more archons left over. I have more. I have one more basil. I could probably get if I try to constants for it. Guys, do I just get back Vasila? No, Vasila is bad with this guy because it comes back end of turn, which is not the right time you want you like to come back at. Um, yeah, just constants. If they, as far as judgment, it then I guess that's fine. I already got all my value off of it. I should just plus this guy first. Let it draw. Red over the visionary. So like next turn, I can ult. Oh, I still can't ult next turn. I should have just guard more lands earlier on, more non lands. And they can get two modes off Forest Judgment, which is really bad for me, but that's to happen. Cards left. I, I, I jam grant, do I jam grant constants right now? I don't think I actually need to jam grant constants right now. I'll go the, the like two. I should just, I'll just manifest first and see what happens. Because it pays for itself in Devotion. They let it happen. I actually do need this guy dead, so I will uh, try to jump for it. So two, three, four. That's five, six to activate. Five, six. I guess I'll go for that. Try to I go for face. I go for the planeswalker on the board. If I go for face and knock them down to three. Then they have. I think I do need to kill this guy. They have hard removal. Oh, they have this guy, right? God, that they had it. All right. Happens. They get to keep the, around their planeswalker. Then I guess I'll like just plus this guy. I mean, back. It's better than actually. Yeah, there's club promoter. I want this guy back. Then turn. Get like. Manifest back not again. Oh, their own banish. Okay, they gain their far back. No, they're icy on the. Okay, sure. Now they're going to cast Vasilia. Transform it right away. Still holding up the far judgment. Actually, Archon can just answer it, so I'm fine with that. But I mean, that can't attack this guy next. So that's yes. They're still holding up the far judgment. Okay, star studded. That's not very useful. I think I discard Elrata here because I don't want to deck myself, which is kind of surprising. I'll think it considered. Oh, well, that's my own. That's another Archon. Yeah, so I think the play here is to Archon first, and then that draws out the Forest Judgment, and Club Promoter comes down and blows up the seal. Okay? And if they don't, like, if they don't counter this, then I just attack in. Right, can't attack in this turn. Attack with Forgotten Cultivator and Swamp Head. Sure. And this thing mills me, which is actually a problem. Maybe I could grab something good from it. I think I'm willing to try that. Except I can't do that anyway, either because the colors don't work out. Really annoying. Okay. I'm gonna put the manifest on my violin instead. So that means I'm not playing Archon this turn, right? Or if I'm playing Archon this turn, I'm not attacking this turn. I can't play Archon and also attack with this plus this. I could just animate Charcove and swing at this guy. I think I want to get Archon on board at least. And like, it probably draws out a counter spell, so like, it's probably useful somehow. To have this. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's Sephora's Judgment. And Constance is turned afterwards. Yeah, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I can exactly cast Constance after the... I think I will cast Constance, because why not? It does something. Um, so... Okay. Enchantment, Creature, Planeswalker, Land. That's all I can get. That's, like, that's good enough for me. So I'm down to 5 cards in deck, which means that if I don't win in the next... How much more time I have left? Oh, Meryl, I just dies. Uh... Probably should not have taken out the Marilai. Yeah, well, uh, that that was a mistake. Um, 
So, Archon is definitely getting rid of Celia. They actually also get rid of Planeswalker. Yeah, that probably is the correct play here. They just come back and banish my banish afterwards, so like it doesn't matter. Oh, I can just get rid of the seal away later on. Uh, and that really... Did I activate guy this turn? No, I haven't yet, so I should be activating this guy. I think I'll finally get back. Do I get back Archon or do I get Vasilia? Like Archon's probably good to cycling. And and step this guy comes back and I don't think I play Planeswalker this turn. Makes sense. They're one of these guys. And this is this game state is a mess. Are you sure that uh, I've missed something? But I don't even know. So what's even left in my deck? I have one more Vasilia, don't I? So, I can eventually draw into Vasilia again, I guess. If they board wipe me, then not much. Club Motor, yep, happens. They get back, get back their own Banish. Yeah, okay, yeah, and the whole Banish, it's like Drift Off, it's a Drift Off, except less, that's because Drift Off copies itself, while Banish doesn't copy itself, so less big chain. I'll have to keep track of which one's a token. They're just gonna get their own Shimfa back. Also, Mirrorlight ult is really bad because now they have the Vasilias, so if I, if I try to ult Mirrorlight, then they just give me the Vasilia and now I'm lo I'm losing the life. I mean, never mind, yeah, I don't have any Vasilia. I'll, that's my last Vasilia. And you also have one more Grand Constance. My Grand Constance will be looking at a total of four cards. I might not actually have enough gas to win this game. Five cards in the library. They board wipe again. I think I actually just lose. So I think if I board wipe, I, don't, I can't win before I, I deck. I probably shouldn't be alive because that mills me out faster. Let's keep me alive as is. They don't have any enchantments, right? So I can't. Or they don't have any artifacts, so I can't even make use of the Miralai minus. Or not Miralai. Uh, next game. But the Dutch just doesn't do enough. I mean, it does stuff in the early game. Maybe that's good enough. Not every day that you get into these sorts of late game situations with the consonants. Okay, so the match in the yard, so. Next turn, Shinfa is probably getting rid of that banish. Or Shinfa is probably getting back that banish. You can just keep cycling banishes if you want to. Yeah, they are going to get their own Shinfa. What's that thing getting back? And it, oh no, they're going to Wrath again. Okay, yeah. Uh, can I kill them before? They, they could have Ifara's Judgment. In, so if they have Ifara's Judgment plus some removal, maybe it doesn't get me there. Also, like, I have to count these guys as two extra damage a piece. Uh, I have one more banish, right? That's all my banishes, I think. No, I have one more banish, so I guess I can like Mirrorlai try to dig for stuff. If I have a single removal, you know, they have this guy too. I have a token for it. No, it doesn't. Alright, well, I have to <clears throat> guess if I a banish, right? <clears throat> Decent Lightning doesn't do anything. Do I want to mill myself? Alright, oh, banish the aisle. Happens. Uh, that is. How are they at 13 now? Weren't they at 5 before? And they were at 12, yeah. I don't think I can, I can win with this. Well, at least I can get rid of the, this guy before it blows everything up, else up, but now I need to win from this board state again, which I'm not looking forward to. I think I need to point everything at Planeswalker, because I need this thing dead before they can get infinite value off of it. Although, I don't think that's actually fast enough. But what do I do, else do I do? I can't beat anything if they... Can I win if they have anything in hand? I don't think so, so I should probably just go for lethal or whatever. It's closer to the equivalent of that is. Five, so this not five to activate. Like I can activate this thing and swing it in that face. Uh, it probably does something. It's I run everything else at the planeswalker. Even if they have a single removal spell, they can't stop me. And then I just save the potion for like later on or something. I guess that works. <clears throat> so one, two, five. This thing online. The same. To tap these guys too. They're going to do some jumping, even though they're at sixteen. Makes sense because the board's going to get blown up any turn. Why Archon on why Archon minus on Banish? It's like it could be useful to out a board state afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> also Archon minus on the promoter or something. I mean, uh, yeah, it's from five minus. What do I do? Vasilia means that oh no, it's the board's going to get blown up end of their turn, so it comes back and then get Banish. Oh right, but Vasilia also takes a turn. Hey, kind of, I'll just get Vasilia. I guess I get to whack them for three, and then, like, how close are they to Chronicles? They're one man off Chronicles. I just lose if uh, they Chronicles me, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just lose if that happens. Doesn't, right? Uh, it sells my, oh, ah, yeah, that, yeah, that's a problem. Sells my graveyard, and then that's probably game. 
And also a uh, Merle ult, they play anything great, but it doesn't seem like they're a deck that does that, so yeah. What's this do? Oh, it makes me stack things at the end of, like, things that, uh, lots of stuff die. This is not a creature anymore. All these guys, this is also not a creature anymore. This guy, guys. Alright, do I have anything? Cash the aisle, that's not helpful. Can't play creatures out because this guy just blows them up. So, I guess I'm, what does Bash the aisle do right now for me? I think I can bash their banish with the back banish, which like uh, that's funny, but I don't know if that does anything. Save my banish for later on. Now grab my sound club promoter. I'll just keep cycling these guys. Good thing I actually chose Vasilia because that means I actually, I also dodge stuff. Oh, did I forget to swing with Alcove? I should have done that. Okay, pay for it. I have to pay the full amount. No, I actually reduced by two. So, our judgment for. I had more than enough to activate, more than enough to activate Shot Cove. I just completely forgot. They're at 20 now, so I don't think I'll be able to finish the game before it. Deck out. I actually could have gone sort of close if Shot Cove, no, they had the land. Like, there was no way, to, yeah, there was no way I, I was killing them. Mm. So how am I getting through this? Photographer, sure. Another one of these guys. Yeah, Pillar. Got two man lands now. To finally play this thing. Okay, yeah, that's like one thing that could have killed my island there. I'll go over there. Well, I think I should just call it. I'm not getting through. Board state. A pulse board, Miralai's badge. I think Blueberry wouldn't have helped me either, right? If Miralai came down earlier, then it would have been a lot more useful. I think yeah, I'll do this. And, oh, uh, okay, this hand's quite good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll keep this. And so, what's Cityscape ex exiling? <laughs> I mean, I only get one choice of. I'll exile one of the three drops, probably. I could just play Nascent Light Bane Tap. I should probably get to escape out as early as I can. Now I just have to choose, like, on turn one, which uh, three drop I want to play. And I think the answer is. They're both pretty good, but I think Elrotha is better right now. I think I'll exile Marilai. I can also just exile Nascent Light Bane. Because it's basically a basic, right? That's So if I do that, then I assume that I won't need. Actually, this, so this has to fetch Island, and I guess Nascent by like it's exiled to become a Plains. And I hope Manifest sticks, because that's the only way I'm actually casting any of these things. So, grab Plains, because I will need it later on. Vasilia. Okay, cool. Um, Hopefully I draw more lands. You know, like, I literally just exiled one of my lands, so if I end up getting land screwed, then I guess I can only blame myself. In other words, I probably should have exiled Arata Visionary, honestly. Okay. Uh, I have a counter spell. Uh, what do I want to jam first? Mirrorlight better, or is honestly I think Arata Visionary is better. So I'd like to jam Mirrorlight. Wait, did I? Um, ah, ah, I actually drew two cards. No wonder my hands. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll pause the game. I fit try to figure out how to fix this. All right, looks like we're doing the thought sees fix for extra cards. So like, I guess they get to shuffle something in or whatever, and they also know what's in my hand now. Anyway, so this turn like. Okay, they're shuffling this guy in. So this turn, I'm probably jamming Visionary. Uh, no, does this give me a crew info that they don't want Visionary to resolve? I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I guess I... Do I jam Visionary or Marilai? Marilai's active immediately. I think I'll jam Visionary this turn. It's countered. That's expected. That's expected. Actually, no, I should have jammed Marilai because if Manifest gets killed, I literally can't cast anything. This turn. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, dear. Stop and upkeep? Are they killing my forest? Ah, they can do this. Right. Um, this is how my... Okay, well, that's one problem with turning my lands into creatures. They have to pay a ward for it. Well, I mean, it's also fine for me, sort of, because it slows them down a lot. Okay, yeah, and that's the problem with me not jamming Marilai last turn, because and now I can't cast my 3-drop, even though I drew a land. Actually, I, I'm just, like, completely locked out of 3-drop. If, if they can just keep doing this every turn, and I can't stop them from doing this, and I am still mastery until that happens, so that's not great for me. I mean, yeah, they can't do it every turn, but it's still kind of slow-ish. It lets them loot every turn, though, so that's not good for me. But yeah, I, I, I kind of just need... I, I, I should have jammed Marilai last turn. They pass. Are they going to, they're going to just keep doing it? Yeah much to stop them. Don't keep me okay, sure. Uh 
Oh, hopefully I draw out of this. Oh, that, that's not drawing out of it. Grab a swamp, okay. Just keep doing it, okay? Right side, like, I don't... They're forced to discard an element hard every time, so it's not like... Wait too much. Um, okay, hope for... Okay, there we go, finally. So this is probably going to get countered, but I kind of need to do this, just to... I think, like, this is probably a good sign for me to switch back to the creatures. In addition to Mathfest, it's sometimes... Or forcing me to run a blue heavy mana base. I just switch off Ma Mathfest and Marilai. Because they're kind of not... They, they just strain the mana base in ways that I don't like. Okay, sure. Well, that's three Grand Constances in a, in a row. It seems like this deck's good at drawing Grand Constance and nothing else. Which is great when you're in the late game and have land and stuff, but really bad when you're in this sort of situation where you're actually just mana locked. But yeah, I should have, there was lots of ways for me to not get into this situation. Like, I could have redeveloped City Escape to exile on my three drops, so I would have had more lands to work with. They're like up to however many mana right now. Oh, Club Promoter. Uh, what does this do? That's really nothing, but I kind of need to get stuff on board, so I'm just going to play it out. There you go to counter it. Cool. Okay, if they finally get rid of the land, thank you. They can, so like the, uh, this is actually good for me, somehow. Even though like they're, yeah, no way I'm getting back from this. Unless they draw nothing but lands next few turns. And I'm still mad screwed, so I literally can't play anything this turn. God, I hate this deck. I'm going to use that only slaughter. Actually, there is a way for me to get back. Like if they literally don't draw any counter spells for the next few turns while I draw just land so I can start resolving cost instances. Then maybe I would have a shot, uh, but right now I'm not looking great. We're still using this thing. Okay, so am I going to try to cast Marilai? Uh, let's redevelop City Escape Fetching. Island and Plains, or I mean Island and Swamp, or is it Island and Forest? Or are they, oh, they're, they're playing a thing that grabs, but you know, they got their Planeswalker. Alright, sure. Okay, so um, what am I fetching? I need an Island, and I'm probably grabbing a Swamp, I guess. It's easier for me to find a random green source than a black source somewhere. Wow. Seriously, how, how am I... This is absolutely hilarious. And if I draw a green source next turn, I might actually have a chance. Uh, are they holding a forest judgment? They, they better not be. Actually, Marilai just... Mar Marilai guarantees that I have it next turn, so I guess I'll just play Marilai instead of just let these guys hit. Uh, but they might have counter spells. Well, can I even play around counter spells at this point? I think it's like already too far gone for me to play around counter spells, so I just have to hope they don't have them. In which case, I just play Marilai and let it get hit by these guys. No, it, it doesn't die immediately. I think I'm, I can just do this. Get far as judgment out, but then that means that next turn I could possibly top deck. Okay, well, that makes stuff easier. And, okay, well, that's the forest. Um, Do I care about literally anything but the chaos instances right now? And I think the answer is actually no, so I'm just going to discard Vasilia and then spend my next three turns constancing. I want to, because this is a high battle game now. Get okay, and it's tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Technically, I could have also discarded. No, I couldn't have discarded the forest. But then that also would have. Yep. Okay. Well, hopefully, grand constant. Hopefully, three grand constances gets me there somehow. They also have enough mana to do flashback chronicles now, which is really annoying too. And okay, they can one shot a Marilai now, uh, which is annoying, but whatever. I just need them to not find counter spells in the top however many cards in their deck that they get to go through this turn. And if that happens, then I will be able to start resolving grand constances and hopefully that does stuff. Five minutes. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's pretty big. Hopefully, there's still two cards in hand. Zero Simpa. They, they have Chronicles in the yard. Yeah, they can cast Chronicles. And if they Chronicles me, I just die. They're playing Bash. They're doing the Simpa stuff. Okay. Uh... Come on. Well, actually, I don't even know what I'm looking for now. I'm just grabbing Constances now. If if they have a counter, then yeah, before his judgment. God. Well, if I don't next die next turn, then I get to Constance again. And they get to Okay. Down to 11, but it's fine. I can grant Constance again next turn. Okay. Uh, does grant Constance seem make me not die somehow? I don't think it does. Or it could. I would need to flip Banish and some Fast to board wipe. Do some Fast something else too. They're just gonna keep playing Banishes under some Fast, right? Is this a May? Please, uh, you don't get. Okay, no, it doesn't. Uh, well, it gets it gets rid of my treasure, I guess. 
Okay, please don't have a counter spell again. Star sided. Eh, not you very useful right now. Do they have any cost based counters? Moment of deception, but doesn't even matter because you can't do it anyways. Alright, Grand Council number two. Does this resolve? Finally. Alright, does this save me? Okay, well that's so some five that that's a good start. Um just need to send five minus and not die to random attacks. I think that's doable. Okay, so then past that, what do I get? Uh Planeswalker, Artifact, Creature, Enchantment, Land. I mean, this is like, I mean, this is, this is a really good consonance, even if it probably won't be enough, but it gets me, like, some of the way there. Also, this is why I should play a land out beforehand, I guess. Um, the Proner does not blow up anything. It actually blows up this guy. Is that useful at all? He, technically, I guess. No, they, ha they have Chronicles live. It doesn't help. Alright, I got good consonants, but it doesn't save me, so, uh, whatever. Um, so, what do I do with this? Uh, as the manifest enters at the same time, so I can't, and I should be putting it here. I should be putting it, like, here, I think, yeah. So then this thing, yeah, this thing blows up this thing, because that's the only thing that actually does something. And forgotten cultivators, like, I want to use this thing in response, fine. And this thing flips smash the aisle, which would be useful right now if, like, I wasn't... Yeah, if constantly flipping a Archon could have been enough to save me. I, I take banish here, right? I... Yeah, I need to get some rift Simpha, and the best way to do that with, is with banish. Then my own Simpha goes minus one so that I can, like... Because I kind of need to not die here. Actually, that, that was probably hasty, a bit hasty. Uh, I could have survived without... Yeah, I could have just a bunch of chump, chump blockers next turn. But now I'm committing to blowing up the board. I might have found it. Okay, I might have made a misplay here, but like kind of beyond whatever I can do now. The right play was probably the system five plus to prevent myself from dying, probably. No, they right. They just chronicle of extinction me, and I die. I I, I lose my entire. They make me sack planeswalker too. Uh well, okay. I I guess that means blowing up the board was correct after all, because otherwise. I wouldn't have been able to. I, I forgot to redevelop Cityscape. Good? No, I couldn't have. So I guess the redevelop Cityscape is now a dud. And I'm completely reliant on top decks now, except I literally used up all my grand consonances, so I have no good top decks left. I think I could run more Archon. Storm Scraper is going to be a problem because I literally have no way to deal with that. And I actually will come back and come down and kill Simfa. No, they're going to kill Simfa with attacks and then banish the cultivator, and then I'm like. Yeah, completely out of resources. They plush Simfa again. Not to actually do anything because, like, it, the board's going to get blown. They're going to not. Okay, sure, interesting. Right, I still have Forgotten Cultivator left, so that means that I can still do stuff if I top deck uh, five drops. Oh, that was not a five drop. It's going to swing at everything at Simfa, I guess. But I'm not doing that. Seeing what they want to do with that. Actually, I, did, I actually just can't deal with Shrimpa now, right? I need to top deck some way to... I need to top deck more Bash the Isles, I think. I'll end up turn redevelop Cityscape so I can finally make this land useful. Or, no, it's not end of turn, it's just now. Right? Get these guys onto the yard, or get, get these guys onto the board, and slightly thin my deck. Uh, yeah, I need to get... Okay, come on. That makes sense, okay. And blow up the board. Uh, did I? Oh, I forgot to use redevelop cityscape and whatever. I, I can bluff having a card in hand, I guess. Uh, so crap, playing them forest probably. I don't know if have, I, I don't know if I have any islands left. Storm scraper. Uh, no, they they they're getting back storm scraper end of turn. I still have I still have Simpa left. No, I I I got rid died and get, then got exiled. Oh, and they're attacking me with this thing now. Okay, well um. Uh, I... Where did all my ba basics go? Did I... guess it, they're all in play now. Yeah, well, that that's not good. Oh, uh, that could have been... That could have been worse. It, it, it certainly is one of the better cards I could have drawn here, even if it doesn't do enough to save me. They could just have a counter spell. And they have a counter spell. Cool. Uh, no, no, it's the like, one that I can pay for. Alright, get rid of this thing. I still need to deal with the Swarm Scraper that's coming down in a turn, but that could be... That's something that that's something for future me to worry about. Wait, did I forget to I could have actually get gone back my own Shrimpa, which doesn't actually do much in this situation, so yes, that was the correct play. Or 
Yeah, okay. And it's a creature, right? That, like, there's way more, there's more than enough devotion to, for it to be a creature. Uh, oh, well, okay, fine. Yeah, I lose. Uh, I'll hold a hand in, I'll hold a card in hand to bluff. Alright, uh, so I, I think the conclusion from that game was that Manifest, I don't think Manifest is worth going for. Either I just played, uh, the Mad Dork, Mad Mad Dork, because it doesn't, Open up all those other weird weaknesses in your deck, and also it doesn't require you to go in, you to go into blue early. In fact, I might just cut blue entirely. Like, like I could just find some other big top end thing, and then Miralize, whatever. Like Miralize, good, but not that good in this deck. If you're playing her onto an empty board, it doesn't protect yourself, and then also it's it's a huge pain to get double blue for this thing early, and then also try to get double white for these guys, and then also a random. Black pip for these guys. I think I'm kind of done with trying to make blue or make blue based consonants work. So I'll, I'll try, I'll probably like go into some other color next month for color consonants. And by other color, I mean like if you cut blue, the only thing that's left is red. Maybe like some red, yeah, non blue consonants back to the good old days, except nothing, except nothing that can actually replace what we lost. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, th that's, I I've already lost two games, so I'm dropping from the tournament, so see you next month, I guess. With that, yeah.